by immediately confessing sin and then invite the Holy Spirit to occupy the cleansed area and to completely fill you. It is Satan's continuing work to use various diverting tactics to draw the child of God out of the place of abiding in Christ. And he'll do that with sickness and with some um, some adversity. Do you, you, you understand what I'm saying? He'll use strife and trials and tribulations. He'll use a death in the family to get a person to never walk with Christ again. My little baby son died, and I'm telling you, I didn't want nothing. If somebody told me about God, I'd have spit in their face. I put I lowered my little baby son into a ground. Huh? You have no idea. I'm not going to tell the story. You don't have no idea. And then, and then because of that, I didn't trust and believe God because people who talked about God said that those things didn't happen to people. It's just not the truth. That's not true. We're in a battle. We're in a war. And there's going to be people that are going to be martyred for the kingdom of God. And people are going to be delivered for the kingdom of God. People are going to be restored for the kingdom of God. And you got to understand it's God. It's God first. It's God second. It's God last. you got to understand that. 